Hello everyone, and welcome to this Painting Dark Souls the Board Games Large Hollow Soldier model. A bit of mouthful for a name there. I would have preferred Greater Axeman Hollow, but whatever. I digress already. This is one of the larger base minion models for the core game. And it is, for all intents and purposes, just a giant hollow. Which, you know, that's where the name makes more sense. So, as usual, this is done in my dark paint scheme, like every other model that I paint for this game. And to start off with, I'm doing all of the flesh, which I can't exactly remember how I did, because, honestly, it's been a long time since I've painted this model. And I can tell you right now, a zombie-like flesh, or, you know, a rotting flesh, was used either as the base coat or as the highlight, but either way, it was, I wanted it to look more gray, so it was probably the base coat. Then I'm using a leatherish brown to cover all of, well, the cloth and leather, except for the shawl around the neck. So this is the pants, the wristband, and the shoes, or feet covering, whatever. I don't really know if they'd be shoes or just sacks of leather at that point. <laughs> eh. Regardless, it comes out very well, in my opinion. The, the flesh is decent, too. So, everything is dry-brushed on, both the base coat and the highlight, just more of it with the base coat. I, I know the brush looks like garbage. I don't even know what I use that one for anymore. I think I use it for, like, a sponge now for small sponging things. I actually used it on the most recent model I painted for exactly that. Oh, yes, also covering parts of the axe and things like that. Also, at some point in time, I ended up painting the metal onto the model, which is just the head of the axe and the uh, bottom of it. I don't know what that is really called. And then dry brush the cloth. Now, the cloth is also a thing that I can't exactly remember how I did, but I wanted it to look bluish. I can't remember if I did the base coat blue with a highlight of a lighter blue, but you'll see it come out as it's supposed to later. Then highlighting the flesh, which if I'm correct, I did do with a light gray in order to give the graying kind of flesh that hollows have. You know, they don't really look like zombies, they look like more just desecrated corpses that are still somehow walking. So, eh, I don't know how that's different from a zombie, but whatever. Then also highlighting the metal so that the edges of it stand out more. And then moving on to the cloth in a tannish color, which I usually use to highlight any mid-range brown, not a super dark brown that I've been using a lot lately for Cthulhu Death May Die. And this makes a lot of things stand out very lovely. Now, uh, the shawl, again, gets highlighted so that a blue will stand out more because the colors... The blue is actually a very predominant color in the Dark Souls series, at least on cloth. I can't remember if it's like it's the regional color or not, but eh, whatever. It ends up being there a lot. Then again, a lot of the monsters are actually from Dark Souls 3. But that's the entire model. Nice, simple, short video, just like all the minion videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press that like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, feel free to share this video. Either way, I hope this video gets seen more. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press that dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as, would you like to see more Dark Souls in general? I'm still planning to do more, but encouragement would be wonderful. Or would you like to hear me talk about the video games or anything else in that setting at all, be it like even the comics? Or would you like me to start getting into some Bloodborne stuff? I do have the cool mini or not miniature game eventually on the way. And if you'd like to see more like this, be it more painting videos, my unboxing videos, my board game overviews, all three of which I do for Dark Souls the board game, and anything else you'd like to see along these lines, please feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.